Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I'm a Sage Certified Consultant at TAG, a premier Sage partner for construction software with a team of experts in construction accounting and software solutions. In today's video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of the Sage 100 Contractor Equipment Module. So if you're ready, let's get started. Sage 100 Contractor Equipment Management Module provides you with many benefits. The module allows you to allocate equipment costs to jobs. This way you know what the true cost of your jobs are using the equipment that you own. You can also track the equipment maintenance, repair costs, and earn income. You have the ability to calculate cost recovery rates by entering your ownership and operating costs in the Cost Recovery Calculation Tool. The tool lets Sage 100 Contractor determine the appropriate operating, idle, and standby rates charged. You can also track any equipment you rent to ensure that the equipment supplier bills you the proper amount. Equipment management also allows you to create hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly rates for time and material billings. It even allows you to keep track of lease and finance payments so you know the remaining balance of your loan and post depreciation entries. With the locator function, you can see where the equipment was last used. When setting up your equipment, on the General Information tab, you can keep track of the equipment serial number, license number, public utility commission number, purchase date, original hours when purchased, and original miles when purchased. You also have two user-defined fields available to track any other information of your choice. On the Financial Information tab, you can enter the interest expense account you want loan interest to post, as well as the account you want to use for depreciation expense. If you have multiple departments set up in your Sage 100 Contractor database, you can assign a piece of equipment to that department. You can also specify any loan details for the piece of equipment, such as the loan type, lender, loan number, pay date, interest rate, payment amount, and monthly depreciation. On the Cost Recovery Worksheet, you can enter the cost of owning and operating the equipment for a resource consumption period, as well as an estimated use for the resource consumption period. On the Cost and Billing Rates tab, you can enter the rate you want costed to a job and the rates you would like to use for time and material billings, including mobilization. You can also create equipment types so you can further break down your owned or rented equipment into categories. Use the Equipment Allocation window in conjunction with Payroll to enter job and equipment cost records. You can enter the operated, standby, and idle time for equipment at the job site. In Payroll, you can enter the time an employee spends on repairing or operating a piece of equipment. Use the Equipment Depreciation task to post depreciation expense on all of your equipment. In the Equipment Revenue window, you can review the revenue generated by a piece of equipment. When a piece of equipment is allocated to a job, Sage 100 Contractor creates two records, a job cost record and a revenue record. The job cost records reflect the cost of using the equipment on the job, and the revenue record reflects the value earned by the equipment. By tracking the revenue created by a piece of equipment, you can see whether or not the equipment is profitable and refine the cost recovery rates. You also have various reports that show you a list of the equipment owned, depreciation, and cost recovery data. The Equipment Management Report shows you the cost and total revenue for a piece of equipment so you can confirm profitability by equipment and Equipment Maintenance Reports so you can keep track of maintenance on your equipment. If you would like to learn more about Sage 100 Contractor or any of the Sage Construction software products, schedule a demo, or get pricing, visit our website www.teamtag.net or email us at sales at teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Sage Construction Software videos.